Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we are going to focus on two bonus previous year questions which are actually based upon set associative mapping. However, they will help us have a better understanding of various aspects of physical address. So, without any further ado, let's get to learning. Consider this question, it came in Gate Computer Science 2014 paper. A four-way set associative cache memory unit with a capacity of 16 kilobytes is built using the block size of 8 words. That means, the cache memory is having the size of 16 kilobytes. Now, the block or the line size is of 8 words. Also, it's a four-way set associative cache. Now, the word length is given as 32 bits. The size of the physical address space is mentioned as 4 gigabytes. That means, the main memory is having the size of 4 gigabytes. Now, we need to find out the number of tag bits. Now, to be honest, during Gate Computer Science 2014, it was a numerical answer type question. That means, it didn't have any options provided. However, in this specific scenario, we have provided some options for you for the sake of simplicity. Now, let's try to solve it, shall we? Now, the physical address space or the main memory size is given as 4 gigabytes, right? Which in terms of bytes is 2 to the power 32 because 4 is 2 square and gigabyte is 2 to the power 30 which gives us 2 to the power 32 in terms of bytes. Therefore, the physical address is of 32 bits. Now, coming to the word length, it is given as 32 bits which can be stripped down into 4 multiplied by 8 bits, right? And 8 bits is 1 byte. Therefore, the word size is 4 bytes. Now, coming to the block size, it's given as 8 words. Now, 1 word is 4 bytes. Therefore, 8 words can be written as 2 cube, that is 8, and word, that is 4 byte, which is again 2 square bytes, which gives us 2 to the power 5 in terms of bytes because 3 plus 2 is 5. Therefore, 5 bits will be used for the block or line offset. Now, the cache has the capacity of 16 kilobytes, right? which in terms of byte is 2 to the power 14 because 16 is 2 to the power 4 and kilobyte is 2 to the power 10. Now, in order to find out the number of lines inside the cache, we already know we need to divide the cache size, which is 2 to the power 14 in here, by the block or the line size, which is 2 to the power 5, which gives us 2 to the power 9. Therefore, there are 2 to the power 9 lines inside the cache. Now, it's a four-way set associative cache, right? Therefore, let's find out the number of sets as well. And we also know how to find this. All we need is to divide the number of lines inside the cache by the set size, which is 4 in this case, which can be written as 2 square, which gives us 2 to the power 7. That means 7 bits are going to be used for the set number. So finally, the number of tag bits can be found out if from the physical address bits, we subtract the set number and the offset bits. Now 7 plus 5 is 12 and 32 minus 12 will give us 20. Therefore, 20 bits will be used for the tags. So, we have found out the option C to be the correct one, haven't we? But I hate to break out the sad news to you, the entire derivation process in this case is wrong. And the physical address bit split is also wrong in this case. Now, why is so? Because if you remember, word is the smallest addressable memory unit. Therefore, since the word length is mentioned, we need to convert every unit to word. Instead, we converted all of them into bytes. So, let me show you the correct derivation process. Since the word length is mentioned as 32 bits, we can strip it down to 4 multiplied by 8 bits, which is again 4 bytes. Now, the physical address space is mentioned as 4 gigabytes, right? Now, we need to convert this size in terms of words. Now, how to do it? If we divide the main memory size by the word, that is 4 bytes, we get 1 giga words. Therefore, in terms of words, the size of the physical address space is 1 gigawords, which is actually 2 to the power 30 words, because 1 gigs is 2 to the power 30. Therefore, physical address will be of 30 bits. Now, coming to the block size, it is given as 8 words, right? Which can be written as 2 cube words, because 8 is 2 cube. Therefore, 3 bits are going to be used for the offset. Now, the cache size is mentioned as 16 kilobytes. Therefore, we again need to convert this in terms of words. How to do it? Same drill, dividing the cache size by one word or four bytes, which will give us four kilowords or two to the power 12 words, 
because 4 is 2 square and kilo is 2 to the power 10. Therefore, the cache size in terms of word is 2 to the power 12. Now, let's find out the number of lines dividing the cache size by the block size, which will give us 2 to the power 9 because 12 minus 3 is 9. Therefore, there are 2 to the power 9 lines inside the cache. Now, let's find out the number of sets as well, dividing the number of lines, that is 2 to the power 9, by the set size, which is 4 in this case, or 2 square. That will give us 2 to the power 7. So, 7 bits will be used for the set number. Now, the number of tag bits can be found out if from the physical address bits, that is 30, we subtract the set number bits and the offset bits, that is 30 minus 7 plus 3, which is 10, will give us 20. Therefore, 20 bits will be used for tags. So, option C is the correct choice. However, this is the correct derivation process and this happens to be the correct physical address bit split. Now, let's try to understand this in a better way with the help of this next question. Consider this question. It came in Gate Computer Science 2018 paper. The size of the physical address space of a processor is 2 to the power p bytes. The word length is given as 2 to the power w bytes. The capacity of the cache memory is 2 to the power n bytes. Now, the size of each cache block is given as 2 to the power m words. So, for a K-way set associative cache memory, we need to find out the number of bits of the tag fill. Now, let's try to solve this. Now, the size of the physical address space is given as 2 to the power p bytes. The word length is mentioned as 2 to the power w bytes. Now, observe this carefully. The size of the physical address space is given in terms of bytes, right? However, since the word size has been mentioned, we know we need to convert the unit of physical address space in terms of words. Now, how to do it? Just divide the physical address bit size, that is 2 to the power p, by the word size, that is 2 to the power w, which will give us 2 to the power p minus w in terms of words. Therefore, the size of the physical address space in terms of word is 2 to the power p minus w. This gives us the physical address bits. That is, p minus w bits will be used for the physical address. Now, coming to the size of the cache memory, it is given as 2 to the power n in terms of bytes, right? We also need to convert that, dividing the cache size by the word size, which will give us 2 to the power n minus w words. That is, the size of the cache in terms of word is 2 to the power n minus w. Now, the size of the cache block has been mentioned as 2 to the power m words. Now, since it's already been mentioned as words, we need not do anything about it. Additionally, it will give us the block offset to be m bits. Therefore, from p minus w bits of physical address, least significant m bits will be used for block or line offset. Now, the number of lines inside the cache can be found out dividing the cache size that is 2 to the power n minus w by the block size that is 2 to the power m, which will give us 2 to the power n minus w minus m. Now, it is a k-way set associative cache, right? Therefore, let's find out the number of sets as well. Now, how to do it? We need to divide the number of lines inside the cache that is 2 to the power n minus w minus m by the set size that is k in this case. Now, let's assume k is 2 to the power x. In that case, we can replace k with 2 to the power x, which will give us 2 to the power n minus w minus m minus x. Therefore, n minus w minus m minus x bits will be used for the set number. Now, to be fair, x is a variable that we introduced. It's not mentioned anywhere in the question itself. Therefore, let's try to replace x with something that is given in the question. Therefore, x is log k base 2. So, replacing the value of x, we get 2 to the power n minus w minus m minus log k base 2. Therefore, n minus w minus m minus log k base 2 bits will be used for set number. Now, the question remains, how many bits will be used for the tag field? Let's try to find out that as well. In order to find out the number of tag bits, we need to subtract the set number bits and the offset bits from the physical address bits, right? So, from this we get p minus w minus n plus w plus m plus log k base 2 because this negative sign will change the signs for all of them. Now, what sign will m have? Yes, you guessed it right. It will also have the negative sign. Now, this minus m 
and this plus m will cancel themselves out. Similarly, this plus w and this minus w will do the same. So finally, we are left with p minus n plus log k base 2. And that is the number of tag bits. Therefore, the option B happens to be the correct choice. Alright folks, that will be all for this session. Do always remember that whenever word size is specified, we must convert all the units with respect to words. Because memory in true sense is word addressable. I believe these two solved previous year questions have helped you understand this concept lucidly. Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.